Good evening, everyone. Everyone, here I am on the 16th day of Vlogmas. And oh my goodness, oh my my, oh, how do I turn this music? Oh, shoot. I don't think I'm supposed to be playing music. I hear everybody else saying they're going to get... I don't know how to work my computer. Yeah. What the volume is... Oh, there you go. Say the volume is down as low as it could go. That you know, um, it's taking some getting used to this computer. I'm gonna tell you right about now, you know, because uh, let me get this straight. I, I had thought I had everything under control, y'all, but I left a few stones. Wait a minute, what's that? I just turned the freaking well, at least I thought I turned the freaking TV off. But anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm afraid I got bit by the lazy bug today. I didn't do nothing. Well, I returned the, uh, you remember the uh, halter that I had up here? I returned that. I jumped on my old bulls around. She's still sitting over there. You know, she's chilling. And uh, if you're wondering what those are, those are some um, homemade uh, covers that I knitted, you know, and I had brought them out because my granddaughter had came by here today and I had one for her daughter. And I had given her, you know, some choices, told her to, you know, just pick her, take a choice, you know, whatever she wanted. So she ended up, I give, ended up giving her two. And I didn't take them back. they just been laying in, you know, um, they just been sitting there ever since, you know, because I brought them out of my room. I didn't bring them all out. I just had a select few that I brought out. And, um... I never did take them back in the room. I tell you, I got bit by the lazy bug. What can I tell you? And uh, I don't know why I got like that today. I just wanted to be lazy. I got up late. I, uh, matter of fact, I got up just, <laughs> oh my goodness, you don't even want to know about this situation. The situation is this, y'all. <laughs> I went back, you know how you get up early in the morning and then you go back to bed again? Well, uh, that's the way I felt this morning, y'all. I went back to bed. And you know what time I got up? Now, I'm supposed to have this, this halter monitor back over there by 1 o'clock. They say 1 o'clock, which I wasn't worried about that. I ain't never worried about what time they tell me to bring it back because it doesn't really matter as long as I get it back. And um, because I think they said a thing costs over $2,000. And then, then they're going to tell, you know, to write a note talking about your insurance is gonna, probably not going to pay for it. And I hope the heck they don't think that I'm going to pay for it. I mean, you know, if it's not back, which I mean, I, I delivered it back like I was supposed to. But I mean, even if I didn't take it back, I'm not paying $2,000. Sue me. Okay. But anyway, I uh, didn't get up. I looked at my clock. It was, I think it was quarter after one or somewhere along in that neighborhood. I said, oh, no. And so I got up out of the bed, put on some clothes real quick, jumped on the old buzz around, hadn't had no lunch because I had, you know, I had slept through the lunch. And so it's time for me to get on the road to get that monitor back over there to Yale New Haven Hospital. And that's what I did, y'all. I, I must have got there. About 15 or 20 minutes, you know, on the scooter. That's all it takes. You know, that's how close I am. And um, on my way back, I'm, I'm hungry. You know, when you're hungry, you want it and you want it now. You don't want to be cooking, talking about I got to cook something. I got to do this. I got to do that. See, because I hadn't had anything to eat since early in the morning. You know, early in the morning, I had had some uh, Rice Krispies cereal. And, you know, just to take the medication, I have to take the pill every morning, my pills every morning. And so I had, you know, eaten some Rice Krispies to take the pills. And then I'm starving, y'all. I passed Subway. Oh, Lord, why did I stop? Actually, I actually drove by Subway because, you know, every time I buy something from Subway lately here, it's been like, I can't eat this crap. But, uh, <laughs> excuse me for laughing at my old self, y'all, but I got the can't have it. I had it for three days in a row now. 
And I don't think I'm looking, you know, I hope my other camera does a better job than this one. And uh, anyhow, I rode all the way past Subway to another block, got to the red light, and said I should have got me a sandwich from Subway. Turn the old buzz around, buzz around, around. I turned the old buzz around, around. Now, just that's just like saying the sneak and snicker, sneak, sneak, snack. They were snacking while I was sneaking a snicker. They were snickering while I snicked a snicker. But anyway, I turned around, went back to Subway. I had to leave my scooter outside. Well, I didn't have to leave the scooter outside, but I, you know, I could see it from uh, where I was. I was inside. Nobody else was in there. This guy, as a matter of fact, he was in there mopping the floor. I said to myself, where is everybody? But anyway, um, he was mopping the floor. And I only wanted a uh, turkey. I never in my life had a sandwich, but you know, I ate some of it. But it was horrible. I must say that it was terrible, and I noticed that a lot of the a lot of those uh, subways have uh, went out of business or closed up or something. I don't know if they did that because of the pandemic or not, or they might have done it because the sandwiches was, was so horrible. That sandwich I had today wasn't even fit for a dog. Well, dog don't eat no lettuce. I had some lettuce on there and some uh, tomatoes and. What else? Onions, cheese, you know, the works. I had the works on there. And I'll tell you, it, it was terrible, but, you know, I did eat some. And I had me a soda. I always say the soda was the best thing in the whole thing. But I tried to lighten up on some of those sodas because I never drank so many sodas as I did around about Thanksgiving. I said, wow, I got to cut this out because I don't usually do that. Now, soda like this here, I don't usually drink. There's not that much left in here. I don't usually drink that whole soda. Even when I go out to eat, there's always soda left. And I'm good for, especially a fountain, you know, the sodas that you get out the fountain. If I'm riding in a car, I am good for leaving that soda in whoever's car that I'm in. I usually just leave it right there. But, um... Lately here, I've been uh, doing a lot of soda, and I think that's probably why I'm so, uh, you know, sluggish. You know, because I do, well, the doctor claims I got diabetes, but I'm not so sure. I'm really not so sure. I got to take my sugar, because I haven't taken it in a long time. As a matter of fact, they were thinking about taking me off the medication, which I'm thinking about taking myself off the medication. But anyway, y'all, I didn't come up here to chitter-chatter about my well-being. I came up here to talk about Vlogmas number six. Let me double check my calendar. Number 16. Nine more days left, y'all. Just nine more days. Can you believe that? Nine days? And add, what is it, uh, seven more days to that? It'll be New Year's. <sighs> 2022, and we're still in the pandemic. But you know, I remember um, reading about, getting on a serious note for a minute here, y'all. I remember reading about the uh, pandemic, I think of uh, 1928 or was it 1918? I forgot which one it is, y'all. But it was 100 years ago, you know, because we haven't had anything like this in over 100 years. And like a lot of people say, history repeats itself every 100 years. I don't know if I agree with that, but this pandemic thing seems to be because uh, I remember them saying that that particular pandemic lasted for four years before it finally, you know, subsided. And then um, we've been in it since what? To, uh, two years, three years, going on third year that we've had this pandemic. And they keep it keeps multi, what do you call it, mutating or doing something. You know, uh, we got another one called the Omni something, the one that starts with the O. Then there was the Delta. You know, it's enough to scare the living 
daylight side of you. Period. I have to admit, when I go out and I see somebody corporate, I want them to back up. Back up off me, you know? Especially if you're in the line, you wait, you're at the grocery store. They look like they're going to try to get up on you. And then go, you better get out. I'm going to take my stance. <laughs> we go, go, it's about to go down up in here. No, I'm only kidding about that. But, you know, you do. And then even me, myself, when I get to cough, and now I can cough too, you know. You already know that I got this frog in my throat right now as we speak. And so, and it seems like to me when I get to that grocery store, I want the cough. It seems like people are sort of, you know, shunning me. They want to get away from me. They don't want to get it next to me. That's a terrible feel. It's got to be a terrible feeling, you know, to be isolated like that. Nobody wants to touch you. They're scared of you because they think that you got something to give to them, you know, like that. Like, well, it is, it's a death sentence for some people. And so, you know, it, but it's still, it's, it's a terrible feeling, you know. I'll tell you right now, it, it sort of, you know, it makes you feel, I don't know, isolated, is that a word, isolated or unloved or uncared, you know, people hate you, you know, because it back off. I remember when the uh, AIDS virus first came out and nobody knew what the heck it was, where it came from and where it was going. And I have to admit, I was scared too because we didn't know. We we had no idea. Nobody knew. Scientists didn't know. Nobody knew anything about this AIDS thing. This was something brand new. And I remember the first person. She was a lady up here. And I think I don't know if she was the first person ever that they named, but I know up in up in this area she was the first person. As a matter of fact, she died. A lot of people died from that AIDS virus because nobody knew what it was, and then they said it was a no-cure. And, uh, you know, and I got to tell you one little secret, y'all. There are a lot of us here on this planet. We might as well face the reality. There's a lot of us here. And people are getting meaner and madder, more vindictive. Every single day. You know, you might run into an, an encounter with someone. You you know, you maybe you don't mean no harm. You bumped into someone. You stepped, you know, in front of them and didn't mean to. And they are ready to take your whole head off. And I mean, it's, it's kind of funny. Well, not funny funny. But how the young people are so disrespectful today. We're going to have that crap when I was coming up. No way. I mean, kids today cussing like sailors, truck drivers. And I tell you, the ladies, the girls are worse than the boys. And these are the teenagers I'm talking about. You catch a bunch of them on the bus. Boy, that's all that's going on. Disrespect. Total disrespect. I was walking around here in my house one day, and, you know, the kids were running through the neighborhood, and I was looking out my window. And little girl, it's a little girl. She was about seven, eight years old, and she gave me the birdie, the finger. I was shocked. But not really, you know, not in this day and time. Because something is going on, something is going on, y'all. I don't know what it is. I don't know if Jesus is soon to come or what the situation is. But if he's coming... I think a lot of us ain't right, but you know, say be ye also ready. I don't think I'm ready. I don't know. But I'm doing the best I could do to try to change my ways. I can tell you that. I'm trying to get my house in order, so to speak. And, but you know, this which, you know, which is more than I can say for my earthly home right here today. I can admit I did, I, I never walked around the house and didn't do nothing. I mean, I do something, I used to do something every day. But today, I think that white, this right here, this thing right here, I think wiped me out. Because I don't know what, I don't know what to do anyway with it now. You know, I was playing uh, Scrabble on it earlier. And then, uh, 
I had a, let's show you, I had this internet cord, you know, from my other computer, and I disconnected it from the, you know, the modem over here, and the computer's still going. So I don't, you know, I didn't, I didn't disconnect it from the back, but I disconnected it from the modem because it started flashing. I said, well, I don't like the way it was, you know, lighting up and stuff. And so I said, well, I'll just order another one from Amazon to make sure I got a, you know, nice, new, fresh one. I said, I was expecting the thing to go off and talking about, you know, how they say you ain't connected to the internet and all that. But I ain't said nothing. I was playing games. I was doing my, um, uh, Scrabble. And I did my hidden object game. No problema, y'all. None whatsoever. So I don't know. I got to read a book or do something. I go back over there to YouTube and let them explain something to me. You know, Lucy. So, uh, <laughs> got a lot of explaining to do now. Because I do not know what next. And my granddaughter came by here today, too. I should have asked her because she knows a lot. You know, about this computer situation. She knows quite a bit. And, uh, you know, because she hooked up my Echo thing for me. And uh, I should have, you know, because I really need to be schooled. I need some uh, schooling. Even though I went to computer classes, I took classes at the college. I, and I took classes in my neighborhood, you know, because they had uh, classes around here, you know, for beginner people who were, like, needed help knowing how to use a computer. So they had free classes over here. They still might have, I'm not sure. But they got the beginner, you know, the beginner courses like uh, for Word, you know, stuff like that. And I don't think we got into Excel. Uh, PowerPoint, we did get into PowerPoint when I went to the college courses. Got into the PowerPoint and uh, did we get into, yeah, we did get into Excel. Because we had some things, uh, well, I know you don't want to hear all that, but I'm just saying, you know, I I need some help with my computer technology skills. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the blogmas. I got to get me a Santa Claus hat from somebody because I got to do a Santa thing and I only got nine more days to do it, y'all. That's why I wanted to go to the dollar store today. I said, I wonder... If they got any Santa Claus hats. I'm not sure. I don't know if they carry them. Where else would I buy it? Maybe the Dollar Tree. I know the Dollar Tree seems like they, you know, sort of lean to stores that sort of uh, DIY sort of stuff. You know, they like to, you know, do it yourself a lot, of, a lot more so than uh, Family Dollar. See, I'm about two blocks away from Family Dollar. It's right here in my hood. But... Dollar Tree, I got to go out, you know, to get to them. But I'm, I'm looking for a Santa Claus hat, or either I got to look in my closet and see if I have anything red. And I wish this, I think I'm going to take this back to Macy's. It's too fat. It's too fat. I'm going to take that back. Eight dollars, but that's about you know, if you was, if I was going to buy the material and the fabric, fabric and everything for it, it probably would cost me more than that. Because fabric and stuff, uh, people don't even realize how much that stuff costs. I used to sew a lot for my kids. And um, back in the day, material, you know, it was cheaper to make clothes. I could make three outfits for my girls for, mm, I don't know, $15, 20 something like that. Three whole outfits, top, bottom, everything. But not today. A matter of fact, I don't think there's two more, uh, too many more uh, fabric stores. We used to have one like right downtown, but it went out of business. As a matter of fact, I still got material. I don't know if I showed that up here on YouTube. Material that I bought way back then when they first went, when they went out of business. It looks like fabric for. I don't know if you remember the what are they called? Fiberglass curtains. I've got material for that. Nice colors, too. It's uh, like beige and brown, striped down like this, though, up and down like that. And then I got a plain, I think one of them, I didn't, haven't seen them in so long. I don't know what color. I think it's like an off-white. And it's a lot of that. I got like 10 yards because I started to throw it away one time. 
But then what I say, history repeats itself. What used to be comes back. Look at the buffalo print. That was out when I was a kid. It, I don't know if it ever really went, but it's coming back strong. That's the only thing I can say. It's back strong. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind having me a black and white one. As a matter of fact, I did buy a black and white one. I had gotten it from Rainbow. But then when I got it home, you know, I don't try anything hardly in the store anyway. So when I got it back home, it was too, I think it was too small for me. Or was it too big? I forgot which one it was now, y'all. But I wish I had kept it because, you know, it's black and white. Now I got a red and white, which I don't plan to wear that red and white anywhere unless I wear it underneath my jacket, you know, because it's cold or something like that. Hey, y'all, I got to get get ready to get off the BB, y'all. Get ready to get on the Pony Express, y'all. And I got on uh, one of my new... I, I don't know why I bother to keep these things. I, I mean... I, I don't know why I, I'm keeping them. I mean, it might not be too late to send them back. Ugh. But I can say this much. I don't have this color. I don't have any, you know, uh, this is more like a light blue. But like I said before, they look like, you know, something that you would wear, uh, you know, to keep that hair done, done. But you ain't got no hair do. You ain't got that much hair, period. And so... I'm about to close the video, y'all. And hopefully the next time I come up here, I will have some better material and some better things to talk about. Because right now, you know what time it is? It's 11. Da, 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 11. Da, 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 11. 11. 13. PM in 45, 46, 47 minutes, it will be a new day. That's what time it is, y'all. So you know it's late. I did this a couple of days in a row. I made videos late, uh, which I usually like to do it in the morning or in the afternoon when I got some, you know, get up and go. But I ain't had no get up and go all day, so, you know, it's not going to get up and go now. So... I go with love, y'all, and I shall see you on the next Vlogmas. Hang in there, y'all. I go with love.